हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैव डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट द थ्रस्ट ऑन द फोर मेगाग्राम रॉकेट स्लेड इज शोन इन द ग्राफ डिटरमिन द स्लेड्स मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी एंड द डिस्टेंस द स्लेड ट्रैवल्स व्हेन टी इक्वल्स टू 35 सेकंड सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द स्लेड्स मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी एंड द डिस्टेंस ट्रैवल्ड इन दिस 0 टू 35 सेकंड टाइम इंटरवल सो the force applied to this slit is represented by this t and this t is a function of time from 0 to 25 second and which is represented by this curve and from 25 to 35 second t is a function of time as well but it is represented by this straight line so since this t uh, has different kind of variation so it is uh, we are going to apply the principle of linear momentum in these two different in intervals so so let me write that for t greater than equals to 0 less than equals to 25 second we are going to apply the principle of linear momentum which says that m v1 plus the impulse due to the external force equals to m v2 and the external force is t so i will write that this is t and uh, since here the applied force is zero so uh, from this we can say that the initial velocity is zero so if the initial velocity is zero this this momentum will become zero so we can write this equation as plus and remember that uh, we are considering this is our positive direction for applying the principle of linear moment momentum towards the right is our positive direction of motion since t is applied towards the uh, right so that is our positive convention so this is we can in place of t we can write that this t is a function of time which is 4 into t to the power 1 divided by 2 dt and the mass is the mass is 4 mega grams so mass is uh, let me write that mass is mass is 4 mega so mega is 10 raised to the power 6 or uh, instead of 10 raised to the power 6 we can write that this is 10 raised to the power 3 multiply by 10 raised to the power 3 so 10 raised to the power 3 is kg right so we can write that this is uh, this is this is uh, in grams and 10 to the power 3 is kilo right so we have to write that this is this is the mass is 4 into 10 raised to the power 3 kg so i will write that this is 4 into 10 raised to the power 3 and v2 and here if we if we observe this graph so this t is given in kilonewton so this means that this is this is actually 4t to the power 1 divided by 2 into 10 raised to the power 3 so we have to write 10 raised to the power 3 here as well so now uh, since this is constant we can write this constant outside of integration so that is 4 into 10 raised to the power 3 and the integral of t 1 divided by 2 dt equals to 4 into 10 raised to the power 3 v2 this will cancel out on both side of equation so we will be left with this equation and now if we integrate this if we integrate this so this is t 1 divided by 2 plus 1 and 1 divided by 2 plus 1 is 3 divided by 2 so this is 3 divided by 2 and divided by the same power which is 3 divided by 2 or uh, we can write it as 2 divided by 3 this is 2 divided by 3 and this is equal to v2 now if if you want to find the velocity at 25 seconds so i will write that this is v2 2 divided by 3 t is 25 seconds to the power 3 divided by 2 and when we solve this so the velocity at 25 second it comes out to be 83.33 meter per second so this is the velocity when t equals to 25 seconds now for the interval for for t greater than equal to 25 and less than equal to 35 seconds we have to find the f of t equation now so now let's let's assume that uh, let's take some point here let's say that we have a point here which which represent a force on the y axis and this is at some t right so we we are going to consider these two triangles 
one this triangle and the other one is this triangle so since both of these triangles will be similar triangle this is one large triangle and this one small triangle both of these triangles are similar triangles and the ratios of the corresponding sides of both triangles will remain the same so let's say the slope the perpendicular of this small triangle is uh, at this f minus 0 this is this is f minus 0 so i will write f minus 0 divided by the base this base this base will be 35 minus t so let me write that this is 35 minus t this will be equal to the this perpendicular of the larger triangle which is 20 minus 0 so that is 20 20 minus 0 divided by this 35 minus 25 so 35 minus 25 so this is f divided by 35 minus t equals to 20 minus 0 is 20 and 35 minus 25 is 10 so 20 divided by 10 is 2 so this gives us 2 and if i multiply this 35 minus t on both sides of equation so we will have the equation like this so we will have this equation the force for the second interval is this is f is equal to 2 into 35 is 70 minus 2t or we can write this as f is equal to minus 2t plus 70 so this is f as a function of time for the interval between t equals 25 to 35 second now again we have to apply the principle of uh, linear momentum let's say so again we will have mv2 now the initial velocity for the second interval will be the final velocity of the first interval which is v2 so this is mv2 plus the impulse due to the external force and let's say this is f this is f dt equals to the momentum of the uh, this is the final momentum of the second interval this is mv3 let's say so now we can write that mass is 4 into 10 raised to the power 3 v2 is this which is 83.33 plus now the in, instead of f we have to write this right so this is minus 2t plus 70 dt this is this is basically uh, that t right this is basically the t instead of f we can write the t since the problem statement gives us the force uh, as a as, as an alphabet t so instead of f we have to write this as t right so this is the t so this is that 2t plus 70 equals to again the mass is 4 into 10 raised to the power 3 and this is v3 and remember that this will also be in kilonewtons this is in kilonewtons so we have to multiply we have to multiply this with 10 raised to the power 3 as well so i can write that this is this will be 10 raised to the power 3 outside the integral since it is constant right so now if i divide this whole equation by 10 raised to the power 3 so this will cancel out this will cancel out and this will cancel out so we will be left with 4 into 83.33 plus the integral of minus 2t plus 70 dt and this is equal to 4v3 and now the integration will be from 25 to t since we are uh, we are applying this principle of linear momentum for this interval which is between uh, 25 to 35 seconds this is from 25 to 35 seconds now now this is 4 into 83.33 plus and now if i integrate this so this will be minus 2 t squared divided by 2 plus 70 t and we have to put those limits which is from 25 to t and this is equal to 4 v3 and now if we put those limits this this two will cancel or so we'll be left with minus t minus t square so this is 4 into 83 point 3, 3 plus now we have to put those limits so if i put those limits this will be minus t square plus 70 t and then minus now instead of t we have to put this 25 so this is minus 25 square 
plus 70 into 25 and this is 4 into v3 and now if i multiply this minus inside so this will become plus this will become plus 25 square and this will become minus 70 into 25 and we can remove these brackets now so now we have the equation like this and now if we if we add up these constants these are constant and this is constant so if we add up these constants they, they are equal to uh, minus 791.68 and we are left with minus t square plus 70t this is equal to 4v3 and now if i divide this whole equation by 4 so we will be left with minus this 1 divided by 4 t square plus 70 divided by 4t minus 791.68 divided by 4 equals to v3 or we can write that this is equal to v3 so this is 1 divided by 4 is 0.25 so this is minus 0 0.25 plus 70 divided by 4 is 17.5 into t and this is minus 197.92 and this is equal to v3 the velocity and the second interval right so now if you want to find the velocity when t equals to 35 second so we have to put t equals to 35 in this equation so the v3 is, uh, this is into t square so this is minus 0 0.25 into 35 square plus 17.5 into 35 minus 197.92 and this gives me v3 equals to 108.33 meter per second so this is the velocity of that sled when t equals to 35 second now to find that whether this velocity is maximum or not so we have to take the derivative of this v3 and uh, we we need to write that this is dv3 by dt and this will be equal to minus 2 into 0 0.25 t plus 17.5 and if we equate this derivative equals to 0 so we will get that condition for t uh, we will get the t for which the velocity will become maximum since the maximum uh, of the graph occurs where the tangent equals to zero so this dv3 by dt is the tangent to the graph of the velocity of v3 so this is if we equate this equal to zero so this is minus two and 0 0.25 is one divided by four so let me write this as one divided by four this is 1 divided by 4 into t and this will be equal to minus 17.5 minus will cancel out and this will become 1 divided by 2 t equals to 17.5 and if i multiply both sides by 2 so this will give me 35 seconds so this means that for t equals to 35 seconds the velocity becomes maximum so if so the velocity we have already determined the velocity at t equals to 35 second which is 108.33 meter per second and from this we can tell that this v3 is the maximum velocity so we can say that v max which was required is 108.33 meter per second and which happens at t equals to 35 second so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning